Yo, it's Kyle here, and it's been one year since Xenoblade Chronicles, the definitive edition, was released. So I thought I'd have a little look back on the game, as I do with many others one year on. And I must say, I was so hyped for this game, having never played the original, and because I love Xenoblade Chronicles 2 so much. I remember big Xenoblade fans saying the original was even better than 2, so yeah, I couldn't wait to get my hands on the game. And, you know, it was a pretty strong start introducing some of the main characters like Shulk, the protagonists, Fiora, Ryan, Dunban, and explaining the power of the Monado. So I was pretty intrigued. And the open world was so beautiful like I would expect from a Xenoblade game with jaw-dropping settings and beautiful ambient music to match. The combat was pretty good as well, but didn't quite have the satisfaction that the Xenoblade 2 combat had, it has to be said. Like at times the Monado did feel powerful, but in comparison to controlling the Aegis into and other blades, it just didn't feel as good. But hey, it wasn't a complete remake, more of a remaster stroke remake, so I kind of understood why. And as the story was progressing and we were introduced to characters like Elvis, Melia and Ricky, I was really starting to get invested in it. And of course there were some silly moments like Ricky's introduction. That was so funny and possibly my favourite moment in the game. It was so typical of a Xenoblade game and I absolutely loved it. And what I liked about the story was that it did the whole cycle of Revenge is Bad in a clear coherent way. Unlike another game released around the same time, okay I'll say it The Last of Us Part 2. It was also a story about togetherness and hope which really did resonate with me. Xenoblade games just really have that charm about them. The writing always seems to be spot on and the definitive edition definitely delivered on that front. I expressed so many emotions throughout the game from pure laughter to moments where I had a little lump in my throat. And Shulks and Fiora's reunion got me I must admit. As for the finale it was a tad crazy even for a Xenoblade game but I liked it and the message it gave. With Shulk being the creator but Shulk thinking the future should be decided by everyone and that there should be no gods. I thought that was a very compelling way to end the game on. And of course there was the Future Connected DLC which crowned Melia as the Empress which was missing from the original game. That DLC was decent and kept off the Definitive Edition nicely. So yeah I really do love Xenoblade Chronicles a Definitive Edition although it didn't quite live up to the expectations I had as I thought I might even love it more than Xenoblade 2. But still, it is an amazing game and I have very fond memories of it. The Xenoblade franchise is so very special to me and I can't wait to see what Xenoblade Chronicles 3 will bring and how it will connect to the other games. We shall wait and see, I guess. Well, that's it guys. Just a short recap on the game. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe and see you soon.